Facebook groups are a great way to build trust with your audience, capture leads, and convert sales for your business. But did you know that by having your Facebook group set up correctly, Facebook will actually recommend your group to your ideal clients and customers. My mom and I have built a Facebook group to over 10,000 members. We get hundreds of new member requests every single month. And in this video, I am sharing one very simple switch you can make with your Facebook group name so you can start capitalizing on Facebook's recommendation. My name is Jordan Maley. I'm co-founder of the Global Freedom Community alongside my mom and business partner, Kathy Schneider. Together, we help female entrepreneurs create a laptop lifestyle using profitable habits and evergreen marketing strategies so you can create consistent revenue without stress and overwhelm. If you're new here, be sure and hit that subscribe button. We put out great new videos just like this one every single week on this channel, and I don't want you to miss the next free training we release. Facebook groups are incredible for providing a social media hub for your business where you can pour additional value into your most engaged members. The Facebook algorithm highly values group posts in the newsfeed, meaning that when someone is a member of your group, they're very likely to see your group posts in their feed. There are three primary ways that you can add people to your group. The first is through your own activity. And this basically just means using your content across Facebook, across other social media platforms, and in your sales funnels and email marketing to call out your viewers and invite them to join your group. We make our group the call to action after someone opts into our freebie funnel or purchases one of our micro offers. We also mention it in our email marketing, both through our freebie delivery emails and in our email welcome sequence. We also mention our group in the description of every YouTube video. You can actually see the link to join our group below. And we also mention it in the link in our bio on Instagram and TikTok. Actively promoting your group is a really great way to grow it. But what most people don't know is that there's actually two ways to passively add members to your group without you having to do a single thing. When someone types a phrase into the Facebook search bar, Facebook will recommend groups that fit those keywords. For example, if someone searches female entrepreneurs, our group is right up there at the top of the search. Once your group starts gaining traction and has a history of good engagement, Facebook will also start recommending it in the feeds of people who believe or who Facebook believes would be a good fit and would enjoy the content that your group posts. So for example, if you target new moms, Facebook is likely to recommend your group to people who are in other groups that also target new moms. The sad thing though, is that if you don't have your group set up properly, you're missing out on all this goodness. You're missing out on so many new members who Facebook could be sending your way, both through search and recommendations. We wanna help you avoid that by coming up with a highly searchable, very clear name for your group. So let's dive in. First things first, who's your target market? Who does your group serve? Is it women, men, moms, parents, working moms, female entrepreneurs? The more specific you can get here, the better. Next, how does your group help these people? How can it provide a transformation that they're looking for or solve some of their pain points and problems? For example, our group is called Female Entrepreneurs Attract and Convert More Sales. The name clearly calls out who we target and what they can benefit from by joining the group. To help with this, think about the main purpose of your group. Is it a community? Is it support? Is it training, masterminding, resources? Brain dump all the words you can think of and write them down on a list. Once you have your brain dump complete, it's time to dive into Facebook's search feature. One mistake a lot of people make is thinking that their group name needs to be unique. This is simply not true. In fact, having a unique name could actually be hurting your group growth because Facebook doesn't know who to recommend it to. Instead, focus on making your group something people would search for while still standing out from the crowd. For example, maybe your group is there to provide support for moms. So if you type in mom's support group into the Facebook search bar, you will see all the groups at the top of the search that have those keywords in the name. This is a really great group name because as you can see by the screenshot here, there are quite a few groups with a few thousand members and several over 10,000, but it's not completely oversaturated. There's not tons and tons of groups with this name. To make your group stand out, you could consider adding in a bit more of a description in the group name based on what someone could expect by joining. For example, 
mom's support group, daily encouragement and inspiration. Now let's look at the term healthy recipes. As you can see here, this is an extremely popular search term. There are multiple groups with over 100,000 members. So in this case, you may want to niche down a bit more. So when you add in the word for, you can see suggested search terms like weight loss, families, diabetics, picky eaters. These are common search terms on Facebook. So think about who you target and try to add some info like that into your group name. Your group name is one of the most important aspects for getting passive new member requests for your group, but it's not the only thing that matters. You also want to pay attention to your group's description, cover photo, and your entry questions. We did a whole video outlining the top five things you should pay attention to if you want to passively grow your group, which you can watch right here. All right, so that's all I got for today. If you're interested in diving deeper into how to use Facebook groups for your business, including what to post, how to boost engagement, how to increase sales, then check out this playlist with all of our most popular videos on Facebook groups. Just don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go so you'll be notified the next time we release a new video on this channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.